Hey guys, what's going on today? Um, this is gonna be a different type of video today. Um, today, I really just want to talk about, um, as by the name of the title, uh, today I just really wanna talk about um, depression and anxiety. If you have depression or if you have anxiety, um, or if you're struggling with both, um, this is pretty a uh, pretty good video for you. Um, as you guys, if you guys don't know, I am basically suffering with depression. I've been suffering it for, uh, suffering with it for a pretty long time. And I just want to really, um, just share with you here on video. Um, as you guys see, I have a little music going on for this video. I thought it just would have been nice for the video, but anyway, um, I just want to basically explain my experience and hopefully my experience, uh, will relate to you. Um, so if you're struggling with any type, I just want to, as you guys are watching this video, I just want you to know, and I want to put a disclaimer out. I am not a mental health professional. I am not trying to replace a doctor. If you are struggling with any type of mental illness, mental health, please see a professional and seek help immediately. Um, do not use this video uh, for self-diagnose. If you have not seen a doctor about your depression, your anxiety, please go see a professional and get help. See a therapist if you need to. Go talk to someone if you need to. Guys, there's a lot of help out there and that's why you're watching this video. You're watching this video to basically hear my experience of depression and hopefully it can relate to yours. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so guys, um, I've been suffering with depression for quite a while now. I think this is probably the beginning of my third year with it. And um, basically there's just been some hard times Hard times have been coming in. I, it's like on and off depression for me. But when I have depression, it can make things really hard. De if you guys don't know what depression is, it's basically that mental illness where you're just sad. But it doesn't feel like general sadness. I know what general sadness feels like. Obviously, you're sad. General sadness is just like, oh, you're maybe just sad about something. You're crying about something. And it's just like, oh, I'm sad about this. And man, maybe like something happened. Now you're just crying about it. But when you're having depression, see, that's different. Depression feels more than just sadness. And this is what we got to remember, guys. Um, depression is more than just your general sadness. I know what sadness felt like as a kid. When I was a kid, I know what that sadness felt like. But this depression that, you're, that I'm going through right now feels different. This depression is like, it just makes you feel like shit, you know? It just makes you feel like crap. Um, I know with my depression, when I'm depressed in my episodes I start having thoughts um I start moving slowly I feel like I walk slow when I'm depressed uh, I start having brain fog I feel like I have difficulty concentrating um what else I, I feel lonely not just in life but with the depression itself feeling like I can't get no help I'm helpless um I'm hopeless worthless um, start having thoughts of like not wanting to be here. Like I wouldn't have like the suicidal thoughts. I didn't want to like do the act or anything, or I didn't want to like take my life or anything or do the act. But there were some times where it just felt like, like, I don't want to be on this earth anymore. I don't want to suffer with this anymore. Like I'm just done. You know, mental health does this to me. Like depression, it does this. Like depression is more than like your general sadness, man. It's like there are times I have it at home and at work. So I work a lot and most of it happens at work. When I'm at work, basically, I just, I can't concentrate. I feel like depression makes me feel like um, I'm just climbing a huge mountain. And it's like, that's what depression feels like. You, A lot of people like to describe depression in a different way, but to me, it's like, if you're like having the general sadness, it's different. Depression feels like either a cloud raining over you or just like you climbing a really steep mountain or even just being trapped in like a in like a hole or something and you just can't get out. You know, it feels like you just trap. It feels like you're never gonna get out of the situation. Um, now, I just wanna let you guys know, I have not went to go get treatment yet. I have not like took an antidepressants. I haven't taken like anything. I haven't went to go talk to a therapist. I haven't seen my doctor yet. 
I'm planning to this year. Hopefully I can. Because um, just from my experience, I feel loneliness in my experience. I feel loneliness. Um, I feel like I have no one to help me. I talked to my parents about it. And basically they, um, I mean, they're helping. But sometimes it just doesn't have, feel like enough. You know, however, when you're going through depression and anxiety, you want to talk to your your family, but it's like they don't, you know, understand like what you're going through. That's basically me, guys. So you're not alone with that. If you talk to your parents and they don't understand your mental health, it is perfectly fine because uh, trust me, I've had that experience before. And but this is normal, guys. People, what you got to understand, see, this video is not just to explain my experience, but this video is also to help you with your mental health. Um, when it comes to the mental health, guys, people are not going to under fully understand what you are going through. They're not going to understand your depression a lot. They're not going to understand your anxiety. And we have to accept that. They don't have to fully understand, but they just have to know that you're struggling and you want support. So what do you do? Well, if you have a family, mom, dad, brother, sister, talk to them. Talk to them. Explain to them what you're going through. Explain to them that you're struggling and you need help. And if they can't help all the way, tell them what they can do. Tell them, like, how can we support? It's that easy, guys. All you just got to do is ask. Like, I asked my mom and them and say, can you support me by doing this? Like, I'll give you some examples. Like, to support my depression and anxiety, I ask for, um, I like to listen to music. I like to say, can I have some time to listen to my music? Even at work, I'd be like, I just listen to music and... When I listen to music too, I relax, I calm down. I feel like I have positive thinking. Um, relaxing music really helps guys, try it out. It, it really help. And there's a lot of things other than music. You can listen to your favorite type of music, listen to relaxing, calm music. There's even, even not, it don't have to be music guys. It can be, um, you can listen to like ASMR, which is sounds that help your body relax. Um, you can listen to anything relaxing, positive affirmation. Guys, there's a bunch of videos out there that can help you relax and calm down your moods. Listen, to, like I said, listen to relaxing music, listen to your favorite type, whatever music type you like, listen to it. It'll really help you calm down um, with your depression, anxiety. It'll, it may not relieve it all the way, but it'll help relieve some, you know? Um, what else can you do? For me, my depression, a lot of time with my depression, I like to just eat. I like to eat foods, certain foods that help my depression. But there were times when the depression got really strong. And hopefully you guys can relate to me, relate with me on this. But when the depression got really, really strong, um, there were times where I just didn't want to eat. Uh, there was times where I just, I, I couldn't like, if I was eating something with like a uh, um, fork or spoon, it's like you you know how you just eat it, but then you're just like, that's how it felt for me. Like you just, you pick the, whatever you're eating, you just pick it up, you about to put it in your mouth and then you just, you can't eat. You lost the appetite. Like you just, you're not into your foods anymore. That's how I felt sometimes in my depression. I don't have that all the time, but it's like in some depressed episodes. Uh, and this, and this can also be bipolar disorder, uh, mood swings. You know, if you have bipolar, um, you have certain mood swings, like one moment you're happy and then the next moment you're sad, depressed, sometimes even anger, mad. Um, so if you have bipolar disorder, um, this can also, if this can also be for this video too, depression, anxiety, and bipolar. Um, guys, um, I just want you to guys to know in this video, you are not alone with all this stuff. I have been through this a bunch of times and hopefully this can relate to all y'all. What is it? Loneliness, loss of appetite, moving slowly. Um, I feel like when I walk sometimes, I move so slow. Um, and I, and it's not because I'm lazy, but because I feel like I can't get out of bed when I'm depressed. I feel like the depression is just dragging me. Like, it's like, you know how somebody's just like, like you're trying to run or do something and then somebody's just like saying like, just holding on to you and making you move slow. That's how this feels. It's not laziness. It's just depression does this to us. Like when we're sad, we don't want to do nothing. We're lost of energy. We're lost of everything, guys. Even the activities we do. We're lost. Like 
this affects our life guys um loss of interest loss of the pleasure of the activities we do like i said it it, it caught, does something to your thinking it makes you not concentrate guys depression and anxiety does these things to us and when it comes to the anxiety there is a bunch of times where i went through anxiety i remember back in february um i was of 2021 i was struggling with health anxiety and social anxiety oh my god i i today i still remember this i i was so worried about my health guys i had the lump in the throat uh what is it called globus sensation globus hystericus i had the lump in the throat feeling you know that feeling when you have something it feels like you have something stuck in your throat um or it feels like something that's just lodged in there um, that hasn't went down the food pipe. That's what that was. Um, globus hystericus. I had dizziness, anxiety, uh, anxiety headaches, um, shortness of breath, uh, ear aches. Um, maybe I felt like there was something wrong with my ears. I was afraid I had this. I was afraid I've had that. I was afraid I had my chest started hurting sometimes. I afraid I had a heart attack. Um, I was afraid I had like something in my ear that was a problem. I was afraid I had like something stuck in my throat guys you're not alone with this because i wanted to go see a doctor so freaking bad that's how that's how scared i was of my anxiety i had health anxiety social anxiety i felt like i couldn't go anywhere i feel like i was i just wanted to be trapped in my own house like i did not want to go anywhere and if i did win anywhere i would want to go right back home like i was too scared to go out guys okay um but guys, if you're struggling with health anxiety, social anxiety, any type of anxiety, um, even anxiety about the future, guys, um, anxiety, you're worried about your future, anything like that, you are not alone with that. I, I, I have this, this too. You are not alone. I can keep saying that over and over. You are not alone. I struggle with this too. And there's a bunch of other people that too, that are too. Guys, um... Like I said, there are some ways that you can treat this though. Um, this can be anything, guys. If you are, my depression and anxiety has not changed. Um, I'm still working on it. Um, guys, depression and anxiety is serious. If you guys don't know, even if you don't have depression and anxiety um, and you're watching this video right now, I just want you to know if you have a family member that is struggling with depression and anxiety, um, please know that they're going to have their moments. They are going to have times when they are sad and they are worried. They could be having a panic attack right now. And you need to know how to support. So, hang on. So, basically, um, what you need to do is, if that person is suffering with depression, you need to know how to support. So, basically... Ask them, what do they need help with? Ask, um, may say like, I'm sorry you're going through this. Is there anything I can do? Or you can say, would you like to talk about it? Guys, you don't know what they're going through, but what you can do is support. You can try supporting, give them a hug. Tell them that you're here for them. Tell them that you, you can do whatever for them. Guys, we're living in a time where it is hard. And we need to know how to support our family members. Because guess what? There's a lot of help out there, guys. With depression, anxiety, bipolar, anything, guys, that they're struggling with. And yes, there is medications out there. But you can do more than that. Antidepressants, yeah, that's a relief thing. But we can do more. They may not need antidepressants. They may just need support. I know I keep saying support, but that's what we need to do, guys. Um... We need to show that we're here for them. We need to show that if you're watching this and you have this, tell your family about it. Talk to them about it. Tell them what you're going through. If you need to go see your doctor, go see your doctor. Go see your doctor. If you need to see a therapist, go talk to your therapist. And guys, don't worry about what anybody else thinks. If you're comparing your life to others, do not do it, guys. We're, everybody's different. That's what all you have to remember. Everybody's different. Everybody has their own life. Just be yourself. If you're struggling, if you're struggling with depression, anxiety, stop worrying about the, the other people that are having a good life. St work on yourself, okay? It's that easy. We got to work on ourselves, okay? We're gonna These things are going to come in life, so we have to work on ourselves. Um, 
But um, guys, it's okay to have mental health. Um, that's kind of. I just had to bring this up in the video. It's okay to have a mental illness. It's okay to have mental health. If you're suffering with depression, anxiety, I get it. I get it. I'm suffering with it too still. You're not alone. You're not alone with this. You are going to get help. And we're going to treat this. We can do this, guys. You got to tell yourself, we can do this. We can do it. We can do it. If you saw this video, I want you to put down in the comments. You can even put it in the comments. We can do it. Mental health is real, guys. And like I said, your parents might not know what you're going through, but let me tell you something. They don't need to know exactly what you're going through. They don't have to fully understand, but you can ask them how can they support. Um, if you want to tell them what's wrong, go ahead. Go ahead. It's your choice, guys. If they ask, do you want to talk about it? It's your choice if you want to talk about it. You can say yes or no. Don't be afraid, guys. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. I'm going through it too. Like I said, don't be embarrassed. There are people suffering with it. it you may feel alone, but you're not alone. Guys, you guys, you guys are awesome. If you're suffering with this, give yourself positive information. Tell yourself, I love myself. Tell yourself that I can do it. That yes, I'm going to do this in the future. Yes, I'm going to shine bright. Yes, I'm going to whatever. Whatever you guys want to say. There's a lot of things I can say, but I don't want to say it for the time of this video. But anyway, guys, guys, in my conclusion, it is perfectly okay to be depressed. It's perfectly okay to have anxiety. We just need to know how to how to take care of this. We need to know how to live on with this, how to deal with it. And the best way to deal with this, guys, is really just to relax. Do something you love. Do get up, start a hobby. Um even if it's just being yourself, listen to music, um, cook your favorite meal, um, go hang out with friends, go do something you love, right? Um, don't not Google your symptoms. I should bring this up in the video too with anxiety and depression. Do not Google your symptoms. If you're struggling with like mental health or any of that and like health anxiety, anything, do not Google your symptoms. It's only gonna make things worse. It's gonna make you have panic attacks. You're gonna see something on the internet and it's going to make you have a full on panic attack. Trust me, I've did it before and yes, I've had a panic attack twice from it. So do not Google your symptoms. Do not Google your symptoms. I'm gonna say that twice. Leave Google alone. Google is not gonna help. If you are struggling with any type of mental health, uh, health anxiety, go see your doctor, go see them and ask them if it's just anxiety or if there's actually something wrong with you. Please go see a real doctor. Do not go to Google. Google is not going to help. Um, it didn't help for me, so it shouldn't help for you. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to bring that up in the video. But in my conclusion, guys, depression and anxiety is an okay thing. We just need to know how to take care of it. Okay, but um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I love you guys. Um, I wish I can go on longer, but for the time I have, I have to go now. But um, thank you guys for watching. Please write, comment, and subscribe. Uh, keep in touch. Thank you, guys.